Nsellmi l-kom nil-għakom għal-programmi ħor għas-servizz tal-sport. Il-lum sanaqbtu tema għal-kollox differenti. Fil-fatmija jandil il-Bred Douglas direttament min ġewa il-Corver School li jem f-Londra metodu ġdijt il-li ġi propju ndrodot f-pajizna f-dawn l-aħħa reġranet graċi għal-hidma ta' coach maruf sewanka matfalu zaza klot kiet kuti il-li graċi għal-hidma tijaw dana il-metodu ta' talim b'dina l-metodologija ġdida li tajn l-tfal jizvluppaw b-mot mill-aktar skiħ fil-loba tal-futbol ġi introdot f-pajizna. Bred, welcome, first of all. Bred Douglas uwa kifet najtilkom coach wehet mill-nis awlanin li jem fil-alba tal-kwartir ġenerali propi tada l-Corfer School li jem f-Londra. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You have a connection with Malta. We were discussing just before we started this interview. Yes. As a coach and as a player, most yes, of all. Yeah. You're Australian, you played with Melita Eagles. Yes. Let us go back to that time. Yes, a long time ago. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm from Sydney, you know, um, and um, there's, a, there's a club, uh, Melita Eagles, uh, as it was called then, and uh, that was my first uh, professional youth team, yes. uh, was, uh, was Melita Eagles. So, um, and um, talking with you and, and Claude, uh, I think half of my class at school was Maltese <laughs> as well when I, when I work out all the names. You never so, realized that, however. Uh, some of them I knew, some of them I, I didn't know, but yeah. uh, it's amazing that uh, there must be a big population of Maltese people in Australia. Did you so. have any idea where Malta was at the time? Uh, no, I knew it was, uh, <laughs> I was, you know, 14 years old, yes. so uh, it was a, I knew it was a, a small yeah. island near Italy, <laughs> kind of, right. you know. <laughs> Um, but when, when I joined my leader, then uh, of course I knew, learned a little bit more about uh, uh, about Malta, and uh, it was a fantastic time as a child. So let us let us talk a little bit about Corver and how you moved into coaching. Mm. So obviously you abandoned your career, your career as a player, mm. and moved into coaching. Yes. How did you embrace the Corver method? Yeah, I mean, I had done some of the training a little bit when I was in Australia, mm -hmm. um, while I was playing for Melita, and, and I went to a, a sports high school. So, um, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. I wish I had it a little bit when I was even younger, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I found it fun. And, and, and when I when I moved to Sweden to, to play football, um, I, I really enjoyed uh, coaching, especially coaching children. Mm -hmm. um, and then the opportunity came up to, to also to do both for for a period of time. Mm -hmm. And then um, it seemed to go okay, so I was able to do it uh, in the end, coaching full time mm -hmm. after I finished playing. So, um, and now it's taken me to. I've been coaching in over thirty countries around the world, so it's it's been great. Uh, that's a fantastic job, for I say. <laughs> the best job in the world, uh, you know. And and uh, friends of mine, they say, yeah, we have real jobs. You don't have a real job, but uh, uh, it's a, it's it's been a great opportunity for me. Yeah. Brett, what does the Corver method? And tail. A lot of people maybe are not aware of what it entails mm. and what not. Sure. Claude, you know, was fascinated by the idea mm. and he brought it to Malta. Yes. Now he's the license holder yes. of the Corver method. What does it entail? Well, you know, uh, Corver is a is a special method, or we like to say, a unique method of mm -hmm. teaching football skills mm -hmm. and also life skills to boys and girls. Mm -hmm. um, and and our method focuses on individual skills. Mm -hmm. So these one versus one skills that can be happen, say, between two and three hundred times in a, in a professional game. Mm -hmm. So it's important to be good in these these skills. Yes. And when you talk to the children about who their favourite players are, mm -hmm. it's Messi, uh, Ronaldo, Aaron, Robin, mm -hmm. Kaká players that are good in these one versus one skills. Yes. And then the second part is that uh, you have these one versus one skills, but how they actually work together for the benefit of the team, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, like I said, between two and three hundred times it can be one versus one, and also small group exchanges in a match. So it can be two against two, three against three, four against two. Mm -hmm. and. I think what you see is that the, the countries or the teams that are more successful in the individual skills and the sm small group exchanges in a match, they're more successful. How did the contact between you, Corver, and uh, Claude come about? And how did it evolve? I know it took about nine months mm. to materialize yeah, and for yeah. you to come here. Yeah. So um, we, we uh, had uh, contact, uh, Claude had contact with one of our coaches in Singapore, mm -hmm. actually. Um, and then he sent, uh, sent an email, an application to us, and we took it with the global board mm -hmm. um, of, um, you know, because we're in about 30 countries around the world. So we have a kind of plan of, of not to, to go into too many countries too often. Mm -hmm. um, the quality is the, is the most important. Mm -hmm. So um, we had, um, we decided that for this year, Malta would be one of the two countries that we will, we will work with. 
what would you like to achieve here? Yeah, first we, we're starting now to educate for, for Maltese coaches. Mm -hmm. So first we need to, to have the right education, um, select the right people. Yes. Uh, I, think we have done, I think we have done that. Uh, <laughs> and now and we have three coaches. We have three coaches one plus Claude. Yeah. Plus Claude. Plus Claude, yeah. So four. And yeah. one of them is a lady. One of them is a lady, yeah, and that's really important. Mm -hmm. um, I live in Norway now. Mm -hmm. um, and about 35% of the, the children that come to our schools, we have about 10,000 boys and girls, mm -hmm. about 35% is actually girls. Yeah. So From what important. you've seen, what do we lack? What are, our, what are our strongest points and what are our weak points from the little you've seen here? Yeah, I mean, I was training last night with Slima Wanderers, with the nursery there, and it was, um, I was uh, pleasantly surprised that the, the, the technical quality was very high. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think the technical quality is no problem. But sometimes you have a there can be a link between uh, the younger age groups that mm -hmm. from having those individual skills and, and technical skills, how they develop from say 13 to 17 years old, mm -hmm. how more into the team play as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll see this week, and then we'll be able to give more feedback and uh, try to adapt the curve program and method. Um, uh, locally to Maltese players as well. Mm -hmm. so. Do you want to tweak it to make it more appealing to the Maltese? You know, because probably because of cultural differences from Japan, from Asia yeah. to Africa, because you are also present in Ghana and South yeah. Africa, and then Europe, you know, and probably even the Mediterranean culture is a little bit different than from Northern yeah. Europe, yeah. where maybe a sure. little bit more laid back. Yeah. Do you actually tweak your programs according to... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, last year I was in China, uh -huh. you know, and I was showing some things and yeah. the children were bowing and clapping. I don't think there's bow and clapping Malta. So uh, I, I don't think that will happen, but uh, I think that's... Uh, we like to think that's a strength of the of the Curva coaching program around mm -hmm. the world is that we're present in all these countries so we have um, uh, global experiences and international uh, knowledge but also local knowledge is really important so that we can uh, like you said tweak it to mm -hmm. to, to the Maltese um, yes. program now in 12 months where would you like to see this particular school mm -hmm and also uh, a school for coaches, if we can call it like sure. that, for, for, for youngsters between 5 and 16, am I yeah. correct? Yeah. And coaches. Where, what would you like to achieve in 12 months, in 12 months time here? Well, first, uh, the first part is to educate and have uh, high quality coaches. Mm -hmm. That's the, the number one. That's why I'm here this week, to start yes. that process. Um, and Do you then, actually look for something in particular? Yeah, I mean, uh, we have... Um, can every coach be a curver, a curver coach or not? We like to think that we can improve all coaches um, <laughs> but also we always have on the positive side yeah of yeah. course <laughs> but we we try to of course there are there are certain uh, but there requirements. Must be qualities uh, absolutely and one thing is that you want to work with children mm -hmm. because some coaches don't like to work with children yes yeah so firstly that you want to work with children mm -hmm. uh, the second point that i think is is very important mm -hmm. is that um you can uh, or you want to mm -hmm. um, help the players improve for their benefit, mm -hmm. not necessarily for your own benefit. Yes. Uh, you know, when you're a team coach, you get all the reward, right? Yes. yes when yes, you're yes. a development coach or a skills coach, it's it's the players, and that's yes. important for the coaches to understand that the, yeah. the players are the most important and they are the decision makers. We're just uh, helping uh, yeah. in that respect. You're facilitating, sort of. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're guiding them, I guess, in the, mm -hmm. we're in the right direction, we hope. Um, and then the third one that's mm -hmm. important is that, uh, of course, they are fit and, and healthy and that if they can demonstrate skills and mm -hmm. demonstrate uh, how to pass, how to shoot, mm -hmm. these sorts of things, that's a, a big requirement as well because that will enthuse the players to, um, to want to practice even more. So we should show things the right way, not the wrong way. <laughs> oh. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> now, Corver is, is present, we said, in 30 countries. Oh. Malta was one of the countries chosen. Why was Malta chosen in the first place? Yeah, I mean, uh, you we know. We said that Claude, okay, blah, yeah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. But yeah. let's face it, 400,000 people is not a huge market. No, no, it's not a, it's not a big market. But uh, our philosophy and, and the way our, our program expands around the world is that we, we want the Curva program to be uh, mm -hmm. available for players who are not so good. 
mm -hmm. uh, who are very good mm -hmm. uh, for big countries, for small countries, mm -hmm. uh, lots of different places. So uh, when I was in Africa and Ghana this year, we had 15 different countries coming to Ghana, you know, and, and we don't expect it's that it'll all be... All from a, West Africa? All from, it was a West African conference. Oh, so it, was, it was a program mm -hmm. called the FIFA's Football for Hope program, mm -hmm. which is their CSR program sponsored by Adidas. So mm -hmm. we were there and we had a lot of different countries coming. Uh, same when I was in Argentina, we had from Brazil and, and a lot of different South American, Latin American countries. So they're not um, countries that do you, you intend might... to do that even in Malta? Maybe have Maghreb countries after this whole thing, you know, absolutely. after the whole ordeal settles down. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, absolutely. Because I, I said to Claude yesterday, yes. it could be a possibility that because um, we have uh, an, an amount of days that we have education for our coaches, very important. Mm -hmm. And then at once a year, we try to bring all of our coaches from Europe together for one week and could be a place to have it in Malta when it's nice and warm. <laughs> no, that would be a thing. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> One last thing just before we conclude. Will we see you back in, in, in Malta? Absolutely. I would love to come back. I mean, it's been great. I was in um, Dina yesterday as well, looking around. <laughs> it's a really beautiful country. So um, my fiance is not so happy she couldn't come this time to have a look. She's been here twice. So um, yeah, uh, later on in the year, I'll be back again. So we're, I'm looking forward to that. Dawk il-klim ta' d-deb ta' bread wasanna fil-konkluzjoni ta' programmi uħara s-servizz ta' l-sport. Jek dak il-li kellna lejkom moġobkom il-lum t-kellilna dwar l-svelup ta' t-fallu zaza propju fil-sport kif għattilkom il-coach Klot Ketkuti, coach Maruf Sew, għadu kif ġab kif introdu ċa Malta il-core fair method. Jek dak il-li kellna lejkom interessa kom għallura għamlu appuntament maħna bħallum ġima. Tis-dijiet.